welcome back to the pen and ink well so i'm going to look at a japanese model now i had a look i've looked at pilot models before i've never had a look at a sailor pen before and i've read a lot particularly about their about their nibs and particularly about the 1911 um and the 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 pro gear I think it is and, and that range there this is the lower end the more sort of um inexpensive end of their line and this is it's a steel nib but I want to have a look at this because particularly because I like particularly fine nibs I want to have a look at one of their fine nibs and see how this compares to everything and see how smooth this nib writes comparatively to everything else so this is I've been lent this by pure pens to have a look at I like it, I might be keeping it, I, I might be tempted to buy it to keep it, so I, I do like it. So this is how, this is the pen we're talking about now. So this is the Sailor and in here is a Sailor Pro Colour. And I'll show you, and this one that I chose to have a look at, have a look at this here, let me just take these out of here. They call this Stardust. It's a really, you'll see it when I look at this close up, you'll see the pattern on this and why it's called Stardust is really quite obvious. So there's nothing really more to say other than it's sort of, you know, an intro other than that really. I'm gonna turn the camera around so we can have a look at the features of this pen closer. We can have a look at the materials that it's made of and the color across that. I'll also, I'll also mention you know, the other colors that it is available in. And um, I hope you join me back now in a couple of seconds once I've turned the camera around, bye. Welcome back. So we've been looking at a sailor pen, or we are going to be looking at a sailor pen. We've had a very quick look at it previously, but so that we're going to look at this now in a lot more detail. So this is how this arrives. A nice white box with this cutout window here with the sailor logo going through it. So it pulls out here. So it shows here, pro colour, fine. And then Gosh, that's taken a little while. There we are. Sorry, it took a little while to focus there. So this is a navy box then that this comes in with this gold trim, gold sailor and gold trim around the edge here. So we open that up and this is how we find this inside. So we've got the writing instruments, instruction, warranty card there. This is what the converter came in. And then we've got this padded sort of almost velvet feeling part in there. This lifts off to then decide where I found all of these pieces. So this comes out of there. So I'm going to put this, it's a lovely box and it, it's a nice sound that it makes actually when it um, closes. It's a nice clasp sound. It's secure and it's, it feels, the box, considering the price of the pen, I think the box is beautiful. It's really, really well packaged. It's beautiful pen beautiful box you know for the pen so this is what we're looking at I've got the Stardust version here so I'm going to give you some measurements and that while I zoom in a little closer so hopefully you'll be able to see and pick up on this beautiful sparkle that's on this while I give you the measurements so this is 134 millimeters with the cap on as you look at it like that it is 116 millimeters without the cap and it's 147 millimeters posted it's very easily posted. I don't tend to post pens, but I have posted this pen and it's very comfortable to use. It is eight millimeters wide here. Sorry, it's 12 millimeters wide here and it tapers down to eight millimeters at the grip. So this comes with, these are fine nib pens. I was really quite keen to have a look at them because I do like fine nib pens and I'd read a lot about the Sailor nibs and wanted to have a go and try one of their sort of less expensive or inexpensive range of pens so this retails here in the UK at 55 pounds again I've been loaned this by pure pens to have a look at and review this so let's have a look so this is the Stardust version it comes in this color or I've seen it available in this color um, pink red I've seen a translucent blue almost like a demonstrator blue I think I may have seen one in yellow somewhere as well but this one I know is sort of fairly new and I quite liked the look of this. Add a bit of sparkle in your life. So let's have a look. So we've got a domed end to this. Again in that material. Chrome fittings. 
quite a good clip on there. Chrome band which reads Sailor Japan founded in 1911 and it tapers down here so it's almost like that sort of cigar shape pen. Twist cap nib Oh, the one thing I haven't mentioned yet was the weight of this pen. This is a light pen. This is only 20 grams with the cap on. It's 13 grams without, so it is a lightweight pen. As you can see, so it's, as we said, this is 116 millimetres, so it's a fairly, sorry, it's a fairly short pen. Let's have a look at that nib closer up. So it's got a little decorative floral piece around the side there and then it reads 1911 as the sailor nibs do the year that it was founded and then the sailor logo and it's got sailor written just down the bottom there so this pattern carries on right the way through it this sparkle is right the way through the pen like a blue and a silver sparkle all the way around it and it grows from there so this cartridge convilla, cartridge converter even through this off so it comes with a converter ready for you as serviceable as they always are or you can use your know, sailor cartridges in there it does post And it's a nice, it's it's a lightweight pen. It's a very lightweight pen, and it's a nice length posted to use. You can use it unposted, but it does become quite short. I would opt to post it, and it posts very well. Feels secure. It's not going anywhere, and it's a nice width of a pen as well. It's not too narrow to use. I'm going to do a quick writing sample for you to have a look at because this is, as you can see. Let's take a see if we can... That is a very fine nib. This is classed as a fine nib. You'll see now with the writing sample, it is an extremely fine nib. So let's get on and do that, and I'll get back to you shortly. Bye. Welcome back. So what we've got here now is the Sailor... Pro Colour. And this is the colour Stardust and this is with a fine nib the ink I'm using in this today is Noodler's Red Black right as I assume you can pick up on the sound of this it's got some feedback to it because this is, as we said, this is a very fine nib. And you can see that in the line that this is drawing. Let's see if it'll focus in on that. That is a very fine nib. I would say it's probably more like an it's not even an extra fine I would say it's a you know as far as western nibs are concerned this is finer than an extra fine nib from Lamy I would say or Caveco this is an extremely fine lined nib but it is still smooth even though you can hear that it is still very comfortable to write with you do you can feel the paper it doesn't glide across the page as you would do maybe with a broader nib it's not an extremely wet nib either it is as you see that is drying pretty quickly if you like fine nibs you're going to love it it works brilliantly what I really want to try now is the other end of sailors line and have a look at them because they do an extra fine as well and I'd love to have a look at that so that will be next I think to sort of try and get hold of one of those to have a look at I don't think there's anything else to say with it really it if you like extra fines you're going to love it this is the fine nib writes more like an extra extra fine 
I really like it. If you've got small handwriting, it'll be brilliant for you. If you're looking, as I say, £55, I think it's a, it's a good price for it. I particularly like it. I'm going to purchase one of these myself. I really do like them. And um, about any questions, please let me know. If there's any particular pen or ink you'd like me to look at, or if there's any other ideas you've got, then again, please let me know. Subscribe to my channel, and um, I'll be back with you again shortly. Thanks.